Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to create application in code NV and after that manage your service, MySQL service on AppFoc. So let's go to code NV, create a project there. I'm gonna enter my credentials. Oops, of course, not like that. Login. So I'm gonna start uh, an application from scratch, and after that, run a MySQL server uh, service on AppFoc, and show you how to communicate with your application. Okay, of course you can choose one of your applications. In this case, because uh, as I said, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to manage, how to start first MySQL service on AppFoc and manage it and connect to your application. Okay, new create project. Gonna call this example MySQL communication. So it's a fully fledged actually PHP application not fully fledged but at least you will have everything necessary next simple project next I'm gonna use Amazon Web Services US East I hope that the name is uh, this, uh, unique enough finish and just in a second I will have application running on the AppFoc infrastructure pass okay here we go have the sample uh, application loaded in my ID and at the same time I have the hello world working on the AppFoc as you can see now I want to run MySQL server on the application foc. One way to do it is from here, from code NV. You hit services, you can hit add service, choose a MySQL database service for example, create it, give a name, optional, create it, and you'll have it. This is one way to do it. I'm gonna show you another way. I'm gonna log into my app foc. account and run the service from there. Login. Uh, fuck. Right now I'm thinking that it's very convenient to do everything from code in V, but I'm gonna show you this from AppFoc as well example MySQL communication this is my application as you can see here it's running and it listed in the app foc as well so open it here and go to services because I want my application to use a service directly in app foc I'm just looking at my example MySQL service is still not deleted. I just refresh the page and as you can see my old service is not there anymore. So now I'm gonna create a service and I'm gonna call this my SQL service for the East Coast Notice that the service is running for an infrastructure. Okay, MySQL. As you can see, you can run um, other database services as well. MySQL, PostgreSQL. So I'm creating right now this service because I'm planning my application to communicate with MySQL service. Okay, it's bound already to my running application. 
here it is my application example MySQL uh, communication and the service is bound to this application already so everything is good but now my server is inaccessible I cannot access it of course I can use tunneling as it described in the documentation but I'm not gonna show you that I'm gonna show you an easier way to do it so I'm gonna install PHP my admin and I'm gonna deploy it on the East Coast exactly where on the same infrastructure where my MySQL service East Coast is running and I'm gonna manage my service using the PHP my admin in order to do that I'm gonna start again a new project I'm gonna call this my not my PHP my admin PHP my admin manager for East Coast PHP application fork next I'm gonna accept this I'm gonna accept it and my new application soon will be deployed okay so here it is the link to it let's make sure it works I'm gonna see only hello world and I'm gonna remove everything here from the template project which code and V offers me I don't need anything from that because I'm gonna use the PHP my admin and not the original one but the PHP my admin from AppFoc repository on github delete it okay that's it now I have a brand new project I'm gonna initialize the repository because to download the code on PHP my admin I'm gonna use github let's go to github dot com and find app fork repositories there is a modified version of PHP my admin here we go click on this copy the, rem the URL and let's add it as a remote repository location I'm gonna call this a fork PHP probably I should start like that PHP my admin it looks a little bit strange the name but nothing that strange okay so we're done now I'm gonna pull everything from the repository as you can see okay I have the PHP my admin here in my ID so if I like I can make some changes I don't like to do that I just will deploy it now to AppFoc it's extremely easy to jump start with a project using code NV and AppFoc it's really a pleasure okay I just deployed my PHP my admin for AppFoc on the AppFoc so let's open it here we go we cannot access of course the PHP my admin because we have to set up the username and we have to bind our newly started application to the service let's go to AppFoc and do that let's list all the running applications find the one which is for the PHP my admin example my PHP my admin manager for East Coast this is exactly what we need and I just wanna attract your attention on the fact that you need only one probably application like that for uh, infrastructure PHP my manager for the East Coast by the way you can see here that it says what it needs so to use this app fork jumpstart you must have MySQL service bound to this application so this is what we're gonna do of course as I said we can do this directly from code and V but I'm showing this uh, how it's done here in a fork here we go our service is running but is not bound 
to our PHP my admin application. Let's do it. Let's bound it. Okay, it's bound already. As you can see, here the button. So the first step is done. Let's read what else do we have to do. Okay, we have to set up the PMA, PHP my admin I guess, is this password as an environment variable. Password and I will use something simple password. Not gonna keep this service anyway running. So PMA password update. Done. We are ready now. Let's refresh. Use as a username your username for application fog. I'm gonna show you that uh, it's possible to change even the username. And I'm gonna show you that just in a second. And after that, use the password which you just set up as an environment variable. Login and voila! Now we have PHP Manager, PHP My Admin, as a manager for our running service on the app FOC. If you want to change the username, you can use another ver another environment variable, which is called PMA, PMA username. If you set up this, for example, Stoyan. The next time when you have to log into your instance of PHP My Admin, instead of your username for AppFoc, you can use the username set up here, Stoyan in my case, and the password. I'm not going to do this right now. That's enough to get started. Now I'm going to show you how to communicate from your application. Let's go back to our original application which we wanted to develop. This was just an extra step. I'm going to show you now how your application will communicate with this MySQL instance. Example MySQL communication, open this application. Of course now you can delete from your IDE, from Code NV, the application which we used to deploy the PHP My Admin. But I'm not going to do that right now. It's very simple. You can do it yourself. So let's open index PHP and let me show you how your application will communicate and can be connected to your running PHP My Admin. Extremely simple. If you look at here in the services, you'll find the answer. VCAP services. Okay. Let's echo this variable, of course, this is not going to happen like that. We just cannot say that. Let me copy and paste the code. I have the code in wingman, wingman 007 repository, but don't worry, I will put the code under the video so you can find it. Config, alt lot, and I have here local PHP app for distribution. Here we go. It's extremely simple and this is how you can use it. I'm going to show you that right now. So JSON decode get environment vcap services. This is how you get the vcap services and convert it into a PHP array you can echo this, of course, to see the keys and from the keys I know that this is how can I extract only the data, the most important data for me to connect to the MySQL service, at a MySQL server. This is something which com comes from the Zen framework too, so we don't need that. You can echo this. Not gonna show you that, of course. Even if I show it to you, it's gonna be difficult to connect. And print R. 
MySQL config. Oops. This is how you can see the MySQL. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. And now you know how to start a service on AppFoc. You can manage your service using PHP MyAdmin and you can connect your application to the MySQL server. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.